Hello everyone. It is Tuesday evening. And Zach has decided at 7.18 at night to mow the easement because it's annoying him. So it's cool outside. That's why he decided to do it. And yeah, I guess it was annoying him because we have a bunch of these little flower weed things that are growing. Um, so that's why he decided to do this. <laughs> okay, and there was something else that I wanted to show you guys. Um, so I went to Publix the other day to get some bananas and strawberries and some stuff that I needed on the way home from work. Actually, it was yesterday. Wow, feels like much longer. <laughs> um, and I went to the ice cream section because I used to get this ice cream made by So Delicious. Um, it's made with coconut milk and it is certified gluten free and certified vegan. And um, I used to get the chocolate chip cookie dough one um, before I was pregnant. Again, you guys know I have cut out processed foods. I feel like the color looks weird. Oh. Um, I've cut out processed foods, I've cut out sugar for multiple reasons. Number one, it gave me like anxiety um, in the first and second trimester when I would eat it and then the whole gestational diabetes thing. So, I just went over there to look because I wanted to see if there was any new flavors. I don't know, just dreaming. And I happened upon something and I was really excited. So I decided to get it and to try it. And my numbers have been perfect after eating it. Um, they've actually been low. So it's not affecting my blood glucose numbers at all. So anybody out there who is diabetic or wanting to cut out sugar, here is what I recommend. So it is made by So Delicious. And oh, let me get to the front. It is made by So Delicious. It is made with coconut milk. But the kicker for me, it is no sugar added. So the only sugar in this is what's naturally occurring in the fruit in the ice cream. So it is certified gluten-free and certified vegan. And there is carbohydrates in it. So, you know, I still have to be mindful. I can't eat very much of it but there's only one gram of sugar and three grams of sugar alcohol and it's made with organic coconut milk you guys can read all of this um but it doesn't have any processed sugar in it so i saw this and i was like you know what i wonder if it would hurt my blood glucose numbers or not and it hasn't and let me tell you it actually tastes good I could have cried happy tears yesterday when I tried this. Um, I eat it after I eat early dinner, so I have it with a protein because I don't trust eating it by itself. Um, so I ate it after early dinner yesterday and did some chores and did some yoga and my blood sugar was only 96. Today I ate it after early dinner. I did the counters in the kitchen and I went on a walk and I did some yoga and my blood was only 106. So it's giving me great numbers. I mean, obviously I've been active after I've eaten this, but um, that's just as a precaution because I don't want to have any sort of insulin spike. So yeah, I am so excited. I could cry because I've been craving ice cream so mad. And this is a wonderful alternative. It's a healthy alternative. And, um, but I still get like my sweet tooth satisfied. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited and really happy. This pregnant lady is very, very happy. I could kiss the maker of this, the company. Um, they did have my usual chocolate chip cookie dough, but that one had added sugar. The only no sugar added flavors they had was chocolate and vanilla. And with coconut milk ice cream, I don't like vanilla very much because it just takes, tastes very coconutty. So I wanted to try the chocolate and it does taste like chocolate. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I am literally so excited. Um, so 
you know, we didn't we didn't pick up the camera yesterday um, or Sunday. Sundays are like a me and Zach day, like a family day. We don't really pick up the camera and we just spend a lot of time together. Um, but yesterday we just didn't pick up the camera because we both were like so tired. This time change feels like it has thrown us off a bit because I'm used to waking up and it being pretty bright outside but it's still dark when I wake up now, so my body's like, no, don't wake up. And I'm not falling asleep until after 11. I normally go to sleep like right after 10, so I'm not getting as much sleep because of this time change. So we've both been kind of tired and um, I've been experiencing some aches and pains the past couple of days, so I just haven't really felt like doing much. Um, but yeah, I... I don't know, this time change has us so, so messed up. Um, comment down below if it messed you up too, if it messed up your schedule. I'm hoping to adjust soon. Um, so yeah, we have another childbirthing class on Thursday. Um, so we're gonna get some more classroom information and then the next week we get to tour the hospital again. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And then this Saturday is our baby shower. We're gonna try to get a few clips, but really we wanna focus on like being with our family and mingling and all that stuff. Um, I will try to get a few clips for you. Um, also, my sister's goat had a baby. So she has a baby goat right now and my baby shower is at my sister's house. So I'm sure Zach will show you guys the baby goat because she is so cute. Like my sister didn't know her goat was pregnant. And she just walked outside and there was a baby. So um, yeah, she's really excited and we're really excited. Um, I know my sister's been working really hard on this baby shower, so I can't wait to see it all come together. And um, yeah, I've just, been, I've been experiencing um, a surge in hormones and I've been experiencing some new aches and pains. So just going through an adjustment period right now. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of breaking out um, with my skin, which that hasn't happened in like five or six weeks. So I know I'm having a hormone surge and I've been waking up with night sweats and I haven't been sleeping very good. Um, and then my left sciatica nerve is pinched. So randomly my leg will give out and I can't put weight on it because it hurts so bad. <laughs> and um, my whole lower back has really been hurting. So I think he might have flipped head down and it's putting a lot of pressure in my pelvis and that's why this is happening. Um, all good stuff. I can still do yoga, still do my chores, still going to work. Like it's not hindering my daily life, just making it a little more slow going <laughs> and a little bit harder. Um, I'm hoping this only lasts a little bit. I'm hoping continuing yoga will help it. But yeah, my numbers have been perfect for four days straight. So I feel like feel like I've really got a handle on this now. <laughs> Can't wait to turn in my good numbers to my doctor um, and hopefully she will tell me I don't have to monitor anymore. So yeah, that is where we're at. Um, I'm going to cook dinner in like the next 45 minutes or so. Um, and then I'm probably gonna fold some laundry tonight. I'm gonna try to, I'm just really tired. So I'm gonna try to fold some laundry. Um, Zach and I have work tomorrow and yeah, pretty, pretty easy week. Um, not a whole lot going on except for the baby shower that we're really excited for, so yeah. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday morning. It is about 9 a.m. Um, normally, I'm at work at this point, but I did something to my sciatic nerve on my left side. Um, all of a sudden yesterday, if I would step the wrong way um, or if I would sit at my desk for too long, when I would go to stand up, um, my left leg would give out and my sciatic nerve would be in excruciating pain. So I don't know what I did, <laughs> but um, I stretched it yesterday and I had Zach massage it to try to make it better. And I was up last night tossing and turning in so much pain. Um, and this morning my whole lower back is hurting and my whole left leg is hurting. Um, actually to the point where I kind of feel nauseous. Have you ever been in pain and it kind of makes you nauseous? That's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, so I called into work and I do have to go in at some point today. There's one thing I have to take care of. Um, but for now, I am just 
staying home i'm gonna try icing it i'm gonna try to use a heating pad i'm gonna try resting by laying down because sitting seems to aggravate it um i don't know if something's just out of alignment but if it doesn't get better i might look into a chiropractor for pregnant people um and i might ask my doctor if there's anything else i can do because I literally look like an old lady, like I can't walk whenever it gets pinched like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, this has been really weird. It happened randomly out of nowhere. So I don't know what I did, but um, yeah, that's where we're at right now. And uh, I'm just gonna try to relax and rest today. Uh, I might fold some laundry, I don't know. I don't have any expectations for myself today i rarely do that i like to get a lot of stuff done and i don't like being away from work but i need to rest because i i didn't sleep last night so zach is at work but it's a really really easy job so they should be done at like 11 um but he's gonna run a few errands so i don't know what time he's gonna be home and i don't know what time i'm gonna try to go in and do that tech stuff um that i have to do for work because we have to file an extension um, and all that good stuff. So I, I had to meet with a new CPA, our old CPA. We were having issues. So yeah, that's why everything is kind of last minute. Foxy. Okay, so our cat, Foxy, likes to do this thing where she tips the water bowl over. And that is actually what ruined our tile. Um, there's like a threshold between our kitchen and our living room. And she had tipped the water bowl over so much that there was a crack in the tile and the water got underneath that. So now all the tile is coming up where that happened. So we moved the water bowl to an area where it doesn't have any cracks that we can see. <laughs> um, so, but she, I just caught her trying to tip the water bowl over again. So when we have the ability, after we get through the windows situation, we are going to be putting, um, laminate floors down that looks like hardwood floors but is not actually wood because that would be the best thing for our animals because it's like kind of waterproof and it's not going to get down underneath into the floors so yeah i just i just caught her trying to tip that water bowl over again i don't know why she does it it's weird like she doesn't do it and then drink the water she just likes to tip the water bowl over i don't i don't understand animals are so strange <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's the update for now. I'm going to go lay in bed and I'm going to rest. Um, so I'm curious to see what my blood sugar numbers do because normally I'm very active and that's why I've been getting low numbers. So I'm not going to be surprised if my numbers are a bit higher today. Um, I'm hoping they're still normal, but if they're a bit higher, then I get it because I'm not going to be active. I'm going to be laying down. So that's, that's what I'm up to right now and we will update you guys later. Guys, what is up? It is Thursday, and I have a little friend with me right now. But I have been very bad about picking up the camera this week. Haven't really done anything, been home a lot, and work has just been absolutely crazy. Today I was off work and just hung around the house, did a couple of chores and whatnot. Dishwasher's going right now. Amanda should be coming home from work. And in the next 10 minutes, she leaves at 4.30 and it's four, It's about to be 4.20. So just hanging out tonight. We have a baby class tonight. With the, well, it's the finishing of the PowerPoints that we were there for uh, the first time last Thursday. And guys, look at this pimple, dude. This thing is so gnarly. I mean, it's it's healing, but it. I mean, the thing was it was bad. It was really bad. I also have one right here, but I popped it yesterday, and it's in it's in the healing stage. But they hurt like freaking crazy. Well, they did. They hurt like crazy. So just been really really bad about picking up the camera this week. And sorry about that. I mean, yesterday I. I mean, Amanda had a friend come over, and I was outside raking, and I don't want to just film the same stuff every day, basically. Well, yeah, pretty much, like, the same, like, I'm doing the same stuff every vlog. I mean, it's kind of boring, and I know it's boring, so, and I'm sorry. Like I said, 
finances and all that kind of stuff put aside, we don't do a lot of stuff. I mean, there's always work to do around here. I went to the grocery store today, got some stuff at Walmart, but that was about it. I do need to go to Lowe's and get a new chain for my tree trimmer because I want to start trimming some trees. Uh, depending on how tomorrow goes for work, I might because I have to drive all the way to Lake Mary. That's so far. I was practically there, I think, two days ago. And it's just, it's a far drive. And with I-4 traffic, it's just not fun, honestly. But I hope you guys are having a great day. Hey everyone, so I came home from work and I cooked my early dinner and packed some snacks because we are off to our second child birthing class. So this is week two. Um, we're gonna be in the classroom again. And then next week we get that hospital tour again. Um, but this one is gonna be a little more extensive and a little more intimate. Um, so this week we're in the classroom again, uh, learning some more stuff about labor and delivery and all that good stuff. Um, I think she's teaching us the techniques today. Oh yeah, she might be teaching us the pain management techniques today. I, I really hope so, because I'm super curious about those techniques. If she so. does, then uh, we'll, if we, like, I'm sure we'll remember them, but we We'll try will, to show you. Yeah, we'll try and show you, like, what, well, like, yeah. what it is, basically. That's it, I mean, that's even if she shows us, because we still have the hospital tour and then a class after that. Mm -hmm. so. Yep, so this is class number two out of four, and, um... I just finished eating early dinner of turkey bacon and a sweet potato. Um, I got one iffy reading today, but that was the first not good reading I've had in a week. And it was because I indulged in some potatoes because I've been not feeling very good. So just, I wasn't as like happy to eat the chicken and I was really just focusing on the potatoes and I didn't really walk as much as I should. So I wasn't really surprised that my number wasn't great but it wasn't horrific either. So, um, you know, I'll get back on schedule. I've just had a really bad headache. And when I get really bad headaches, um, I get nauseous. And I try not to take medicine while I'm pregnant, but I did take a little bit of children's Tylenol um, to take the edge off. And it's still there, but it's not as bad. Um, Cause it, it kept me up last night too. So I did cave last night and take some medicine. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what we're off to right now. And it's so strange. It's like still bright out because of the time change. So it's not getting dark yet. <laughs> well, we still so, have like an hour and a half until it even gets dark. I know. So um, yeah, that's where we're at. And we're just two days away from our baby shower. Yeah. What? <laughs> super exciting, super awesome. And we will update you guys after class. Guys, what up? It is Friday, and I am home from work. Duchess is, what do you want? What, 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 what do you want? No, stop. What are you doing? What, what do you want? So, today was interesting. So, had to drive out to Lake Mary today, and the house we were working on, it was a very, very big house. <laughs> it was 10,000 square feet, and it is a seven bed, nine bath. It's enormous. This house, I could never see myself living in it because it's just way too big. But, on to the crazier stuff. So, working, working, you know, just working. And I'm walking around the house, and all of a sudden i'm like stepping down and like they had some like woodsy area and i'm like i might see a snake well i saw a snake it was a baby diamondback rattlesnake that he almost stepped on yeah i almost stepped on it i get that phone call today and i'm like what are you kidding me right now do not land yourself in the hospital this close to my due date. <laughs> well, I mean, it wasn't my fault. Like, literally, I like I figured it'd be like a black snake or like a water moccasin. Those are still bad. I know it's still bad, but not like a rattlesnake. Well, water moccasins are pretty bad. But a rattlesnake? 
literally, I mean, it was two and a half, maybe three feet long. Like, it wasn't, was really a it wasn't a baby baby, but it was like a teenager. It was young enough to suggest that there might be, like, nests nearby. So, that was pretty, pretty freaky. Yeah. And I got a bad glucose reading. So, I had perfect numbers for a week straight. And then all of a sudden I noticed my fasting numbers started going up um, in the morning. And then today after breakfast I got a 155. So I've been um, more active today. I think what happens, because it only happens like right once a week, babe, right? I yeah, it's like about that. I two days it's about I have that. a bad reading. And then it goes back to normal. So we think... It might be a hormone surge because I have not changed my diet. I upped my protein like she said and I've been doing the same thing every day. I ate the same thing for breakfast yesterday and got a 114. And then today I get a 155 and it's literally the same breakfast. So Literally the only thing that it could be is that it is hormones. Like maybe you are maybe have like more like well, these past two days. Surge, yeah. Well yeah. Because I've also been breaking out more, so I wonder if my hormones are doing something wonky. Um, I mean, I've been able to manage it for the rest of the day, but I just thought that was so weird. For sure. So, for for what's sure. Going on with that. So today was just a weird day. Yeah, it was. It was a weird day, but I did take some pictures of the house, and I'm gonna include them in right now. But like. This house is crazy. The master is literally bigger than our kitchen, our kitchen and living room put together. Their master is bigger than that. And literally their bathroom is bigger than our freaking living room. Their closets were as big as our guest room. And each and both of their closets were L-shaped. And they both had like huge, huge mirrors. And I looked at the price for it. And the price for that house is $1.5 million. It's beautiful though. I would never buy that house. No, I would not want to keep up with it. I like I like the kitchen. The kitchen was awesome. The, the kitchen was so cool because I've always wanted one of those stoves that has like the ventilator above it. Oh, the big range. Yeah, you, like you know the ones that you can get at, Co like the ones they have at Kobe's or like a Japanese steakhouse? Yeah. That's the one I want. Well, when we build our house eventually, we can do that. Yeah, well, we'll see. I don't know about that, but. I do want a really nice kitchen when we build our house. Well, this kitchen was, <laughs> it was huge. But they also had people there working on the house and like they were taking off some stuff on the ceiling. Like they almost put like wallpaper on the ceiling. It was weird. I don't know what, it, I don't know like what the name of it is, but it was almost like wallpaper and like literally he just sprayed it and it would just literally peel right off. That's weird. But yeah, seven, seven beds, nine bathrooms. That, why? I just don't understand. I mean, if you had the money, good for you but why do you need a house that big if there if, so say you have a it's a four family yeah you, you, you have four people in your family two kids two adults two parents what are you gonna do with all the other room because like they had two upstairs areas and it was one was on one side of the house and then no they were both on one side of the house but they were in totally different areas it was so weird because one was above the garage and then the other one was I don't know. I it was above like another room but it was i just don't understand man you definitely have to have a, like a cleaning person for a house that big there's no way like like, if Zach and I lived in a house like that, I'd never be able to keep a house that big clean. So you definitely, I mean, I guess if you have that kind of money, you have the money for, like, a cleaning service. Yeah. You would definitely need a cleaner. Oh, sure. 
But yeah, so that's what happened today. I almost got bit by a rattlesnake, and that, that was very, very, very scary, man. Oh, God. Like, I cannot explain to you. How, like, my heart literally dropped. Dropped. When I saw that thing. One time when I was horseback riding, it just reminded me of something. Um, I used to go horseback riding with my aunt um, in the northern part of Florida in the woods. We would go trail riding. And I was galloping my horse along this really narrow trail. And all of a sudden I saw something slither across the trail right in front of us. And then I heard the rattling. So I pulled up to get my aunt, because she was behind me, I, to get her to stop. Because I knew it was a rattlesnake and I turned around. When I say this rattlesnake was probably seven feet long and about this thick, oh my gosh. It I would have freaked out. It was huge. It was terrifying and it was not backing down. My horse was kind of going nuts. Um, luckily, he listened to me and didn't go any closer. Um, yeah, I would have freaked out. But that was terrifying. It literally slithered a foot in front of us while we were galloping and I couldn't stop fast enough so it wound up being like on the other side of us so that was terrifying that was really scary <laughs> wow all righty so little I'm gonna show you what we've gotten done so far but look at look at all the leaves i've picked up remember all of this from i mean from the start of the concrete all the way over to here and here was full of leaves and now i mean it's full with oak now because it's that type of year where all the oak is literally falling down onto the ground but some leaves here and there but over here is such a change <laughs> yeah so i'm kind of doing it in a specific way like yeah that's the line that i'm doing right now so Definitely a big difference. I think it looked really, really good. I like the way it's turning out. But I mean, I still have so much to go. Yeah. It's not even funny. And like I said, I'm burning right now. Two chickens, but we do have a rocket launch happening in a couple of minutes. And it is a military satellite going up. And we might be able to see it, might not. I mean, we'll be able to, there's no clouds. Last time we couldn't see it because it was really cloudy. Today, I think we'll be able to see it because it is going off from Port Canaveral or Cape Canaveral. And it is directly that way, which is that way. So we will see. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to see it. Um, but yeah, but yeah, like I said, I need to go to Lowe's and get a bunch of stuff to trim trees because the trees are starting to get a little crazy. Okay, so we actually have it pulled up. It's on hold right now, and it's past its uh, launch time. But we have it pulled up. Don't know why. I mean, it doesn't have any sound or anything. So we're just waiting. I mean, it might go up any second now, but it still looks like the arms are attached. So I don't know what's going on. Wish we had audio, but we don't. Okay, so it is way past its launch time. Way, way past it. It is 7.43 now. And they're saying that the launch, the new launch time is at 7:52. Oh. At T minus four minutes and holding. An issue with NASA's tracking and data relay satellite system, which provides mandatory collection of Delta IV ascent data, will relay will delay liftoff beyond our new 7:52 p.m. Eastern launch time. There you go. That's what it is. So they're having a bunch of delays with this rocket. Um, just seems like it, it I, I don't know if it's going to go up tonight, honestly. I have no idea. Because the original launch time was at 7.11, 7.43 now. I mean, it has a window from 7.11 to like 9.30. And I don't know if we'll be able to see it if it is at 9.30. So I'm not entirely sure. I know they were running into complications, but yeah. Okay, so it is now... T minus one minute actually, so it's 826. They said that it was supposed to be going off at 711, and now we are actually about to have liftoff. T minus 60 seconds, so we're getting really, really close. Second stage LH2 secure at 
flight level. 30. Status check. Go Delta. Go WGS-10. 23. SRM, PBC, blow down. There it goes. And we have liftoff of United Heck yeah. Launch Alliance Delta IV. Finally. Alright, we're actually going to... Oh, snipe, you can actually see it. That was behind. There it is. Yeah, it's right there. YouTube was behind. Look. Oh, man, you can't really see it. No. It just looks like a blob. Yeah, look at it go. It's so tiny. <laughs> I know, it looks so tiny, but like, that was behind. Yeah, look at there, there it goes. Dang, I wish I would've known that was behind. Cool, I got it on the stove. Oh, no. oh man. Good performance on the RS-68A engine. Good performance on all four SRMs. Nice symmetric burn. Now one minute, five seconds into flight. About 30 seconds remaining until SRM burnout. Now passing one minute, 15 seconds. Yeah, so you can still see it right here. I know it's blurry, but it's right there. Literally just a blob, and I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes, and it's just about to get out of. I'm pretty sure that's going to turn off soon. Oh. I can't see it anymore. Oh man. And we have good indication of jettison of all four solid rockets. Yep, there it goes. Main engine continuing to perform well. Chamber pressure looks good. Heck yeah, we actually got to see the rocket today. That's awesome. Oh, you can actually still see it. Let's go. Sorry it's blurry, I know it is, but heck yeah, we got to see the rocket tonight. Guys, what is up? It is Saturday morning. Today we have our baby shower. So I have to run to the store real quick because Amanda forgot something at the at work yesterday, so I have to go get it at Publix. It's uh, rice that she cooks with and you can only get it at Publix, so I'm going to Publix right now. I uh, just ate breakfast and it's about 12 o'clock. I slept in like crazy. I think I fell asleep around 12. I woke up around 10, 10.30. So definitely got a lot of sleep. I could say that for sure. I haven't slept that much in a long time. I usually average like six to seven hours. But that tonight, like this time I got 10. And it sucks because my truck is uh, out of coolant. It doesn't blow cold air, it just blows lukewarm or like luke cold, I guess you could say. It's just, it doesn't blow cold air. That's, that's all I could say and it sucks because I have to drive with my window down a lot. Um, so it's a little, little toasty in here. Yes, I am wearing a hoodie, but I'm, I, I'm super comfortable in hoodies, so. But, baby shower today, and then, yeah, I don't, <laughs> can't believe it's actually here finally. I feel like forever ago, we said that we're doing the baby shower, and then here we are now, and it's happening. Life is going so fast, and we are just like nine weeks away from Amanda's due date, so that is just mind-blowing to me. Oh my gosh, but I am going to film some of the baby shower today because, I mean, why not? I'm not going to do too much because I do want to be present, so, but I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, it is supposed to rain here today, unfortunately. I think it's supposed to start raining around 4 and it's like thunderstorms and it's act it looks like it's raining right up in front of me, so, but yeah. 
Hey everyone, we are on our way to the baby shower. It's really weird if I'm blinking a lot. It's cloudy outside, but it's kind of bright. But I don't want to put my sunglasses on because I have my makeup on. <laughs> so I'm like, my eyes are doing weird stuff. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, we are on our way to our baby shower. I can't believe it's already our baby shower. That's so sad. That's so crazy. Oh my God, it's so bright. I'm squinting so bad. You know what I don't understand? <laughs> What? So we were coming up to uh, a toll road, right? Coming up to like the oh the toll, toll plaza, yeah, yeah. The toll plaza thing. And I was going 60 up to it because you have to go 25 through it. If you didn't know, you have to go through 25. Yeah, you have to go 25 through it, or else they double the speeding fine yeah, because that happened to him. Been there. <laughs> but uh, so going 60, and then I'm starting to slow roll and. We're probably about like five, six football fields away, and these people are like, shoo, 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 like just yeah. flying by me, and I'm going 60, and these people have to be going like 75, 80 miles per hour. Zach and I have really committed ever since he got that really bad speeding ticket. What was that? Two and a half, three months ago? I think so. It was like two and a half months I ago. Even, I think it happened during week we vlog number. I can't remember, but um, ever since then, we have both been extremely committed to for real going the speed limit, like using cruise control and going the speed limit, but we don't use if cruise anything, control when I it's go raining. Like, if anything, I go like five over. Like yesterday on the way home from work, driving home from uh, Lake Mary, the highest I went was 75. And people were still flying by me. Like, But just a fun fact, don't use cruise control when it's raining out because you can hydroplane easier, so. We use cruise control, but not when it's raining. Um, and both of us lately have been experiencing really aggressive drivers who are mad that we're going the speed limit. I had somebody literally almost clip my bumper like two days ago because I was going the speed limit. And it's just ridiculous. It's for your own safety. And we don't want to pay another speeding ticket. So, you know, we're going to keep going the speed limit. But it just is crazy to me how angry people get for following the law. It's ridiculous. But anyways, we are on our way to our baby shower. Um, I don't know how much footage we're going to get because we really want to be present and enjoy the moment. Um, but we're definitely going to get something for you guys to show you, you know, how it's all decorated. And my sister's goat had a baby. So we'll definitely show you the baby goat. Um, but yeah, we will keep you guys posted. Hey guys, so please excuse my appearance. I am having some hormonal stuff going on, so my face is like red and rosy. <laughs> but we are home. It is almost 10 o'clock at night because we stayed at my sister's and hung out for a while. But we didn't get any footage and we are so sorry. <laughs> we said we were going to, but the day was just so beautiful and so pretty and you know we were socializing and all that stuff so we just got so caught up in how much fun we were having that we didn't even pick up the camera but um we normally don't film on sundays um it's gonna go in the next vlog but tomorrow i am gonna film for you guys but you'll see it next week um everything we got uh because we got a ton of diapers a ton of wipes and i kind of want to show you everything so you'll see it in the next vlog we normally don't pick up the camera on Sunday, but I want to go ahead and show you guys everything we got before I get it all put away. Um, we're really sorry that we didn't get any footage, but we were having so much fun. Yeah. Um, so. Can't think. Can't think enough for like. My sister and, yeah, her, husband, and her husband. They were amazing. They yeah. hosted. And I mean, it there was, was just probably. So awesome. 20, 25 people there? Yeah, there was about 25 people. Yeah, I mean, there's there, there a bunch of people in her house, and she's in the process of moving out because they're, they they sold their house. So, yeah. I mean, it's just a lot of stuff was going on, and we definitely appreciate them uh, hosting this for us. It was definitely amazing. But, guys, beautiful. we have so much stuff we do. in the vehicle. It is not even funny. It's I had stuffed. To, well, I literally had to put the seats down in the back and... It was still like yeah. my my passenger seat. Like I I had to sit upright because yeah. we had to move it where it wasn't sitting back. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna I am gonna pick up the camera tomorrow, even though Sundays are normally like our days. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything we got because we're just we're so blessed. We're so blessed with yeah. all the people in our life, and well, I mean, we're grateful. Well, I mean, just even like clothes wise. 
her sister saved us almost probably a thousand dollars worth of yeah. baby clothes so it's definitely it definitely helps yes like i'm not it, yes. it does not go unseen we are definitely very appreciative that yes she is letting us use these clothes that way we don't have to buy them ourselves because i couldn't even imagine if we did have to buy him new clothes <laughs> yeah. so on top of everything i mean the people in our lives you know both from his side and, and my side have made everything so much easier and have been so incredibly helpful and even yeah. today leaving like his mom was like if you need anything you let us know so mm -hmm. I, we just we have a huge support system and we do not take that for granted um i really want to do something nice for my sister and her husband um because they sacrificed so much and they yeah. did so much and it turned out beautiful. It was a rainbow theme because this is our rainbow baby and St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. So it kind of all played in together. Um, but you know, it was so cute and his name was on the cookies. So I can't show you those, but she had these really cute little cookies made on these little sugar cookies with rainbows cool. on them. And there was, rainbow cupcakes and there's the cutest balloons ever um that she found and i don't know it just the yeah, it whole was, thing was beautiful it was definitely a really good time i mean like i said we didn't even he pick has up a the camera he has a boomerang yeah. of the baby goat from instagram yeah I, well i put it on instagram yeah but i have it right here i'm gonna actually uh I'll, I'll put it up right He'll now. He'll insert it. But she's, the, the video really doesn't do it justice. She is tiny. She's less than two weeks old. She's smaller than... Our cat. Yeah, I mean, she's smaller than midnight. She's smaller than midnight. Like, we're not exaggerating. And while we were standing outside today, um, it was funny. She came running over to me, and I was holding her for, like, 40 to, like, it was about 30, 45 minutes that I was just holding her, and she fell asleep in my arms. She did. After that, I go to, like, put, put her back, her, put her back into her, like, little area, and she slipped out and ran right back to me because she wanted to fall back asleep. She loves people. Yeah. So that's, that's the good thing about um, a goat being born and, like, having human contact as soon as they're born. Um, they get really used to human contact, which can help with, like, vet visits and stuff like that. So it is good to have human contact with domesticated animals um but i mean we don't overhandle her they don't overhandle her but today she really wanted to be loved on and it was so cute um and i'm sorry we didn't get better footage for you guys but maybe one of these days we can we can go over there yeah. and get some better footage of her but again we're just grateful we're appreciative the people in our lives are amazing and we we don't take that for granted so He's gonna edit, and um, I am going to get ready for bed. I gotta take all this makeup off, and then I will pick up the camera tomorrow, um, but you'll see that next week, so yeah. Good night, guys.